SBS, it's all here. second to save your sister's life? Do more than that. Come on in. What's going on? Paul and my mystery caller, who was playing hard to get. Your ex, whatever, has been calling and hanging up. Vince O'Malley, yes. I shouldn't have refused the flowers that he sent me when I read the card. He's been calling, he's been leaving messages with my friends and family. And then I get a box of stuff from New Jersey from my pop, and look what's in it. It's a picture. A picture of me and Vince from a long time ago. But I didn't own it, you see. That's the problem. If I had, I would have buried it long ago in holy ground. So where'd it come from? Your guess is as good as mine. Did you tell Paul? I was going to tell I was going to tell him after the romantic evening, but then he happened upon it and he thought I was holding on to it for sentimental reasons. Oh no. What else is she hiding? He says. Next thing I know, he's gone. He's out the door, and you have to help me get him back. Paul? Mitzi? Mind if I join you? No, I don't know if I'm the best company right now. Well, so I've had my not so hot days, too, all right? So when you say we bore the heck out of each other for breakfast. There's something you got to know right off the top, all right? This is not a rose sponsored of Mission of Mercy, all right? It's the farthest thing from it, actually. If she knew I was here, I would be dead meat. But that's how much I love her, and that's how drastic this is. Somebody's got to set you straight, and it looks like it's going to be me, okay? Depends. What are we talking about? Rose loves you, okay? And it's not that everyday kind of love either, all right? Love like this comes around once in a girl's lifetime, and that's only if she's got the luck of the Irish, the Polish, and the whole United Nations, you know? So the next time you get yourself worked up into a lather about the likes of Vince O'Malley or anything else that Rose left behind, remember this. Yours is the name that she says a hundred times a day. You're the one she's wild about. You're the one who changed everything. You are the love of Rose's life. Uh, no, Susan, Emily's not here. Well, she's got a paper to run. She's just pulling an all-nighter at the office. It's no big deal. No, I'm sure she'll be back any minute. Frantic? No, Emily was not frantic. I mean, she was scared to death when Daniel wandered off, but what mother wouldn't be? Susan, Emily's gonna be just fine. If Emily's kid is okay, then Emily's okay. She's a lot stronger than you think, Susan, and she's a darn good mother. I'll tell her. And I'll tell her you called. Bye. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for dealing with my mom. Just telling her the truth. Maybe after I tell you a couple of million more times, you'll start to believe it. I was afraid I wasn't going to see you. No, you can't get rid of me that easily. I'm sorry I gave you the third degree last night. It was stupid and insensitive. Mm. I never should have implied that you didn't have the right to question what happened. No, I know. Never. I know. But you know what? I'm starting to come around to your way of thinking. You know who kidnaps a little boy and drops him off at a police station, right? Emily, it could have happened the way you said. Yeah, don't patronize me, okay? Who's patronizing? It's not out of the question that somebody took Daniel without you seeing it. You think so? You really think so? This is a new development. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a shower, and we are gonna talk about this, because it has been a very, very long night. And I'm gonna come upstairs for another one of those before I go to the office. Oh, I can hardly wait. I saw Emily's car out front. Mind if I come in and talk to her for a few minutes? Well, that depends on whether you're here for a fight or if you come in peace. 
You okay? I have a final tomorrow and I can't concentrate. Well, maybe you should try going to the library. Honestly, I'll just sit there and think about Nick leaving town. You've got other friends, don't you? <laughs> really? Where? Because with Jen gone, Nick was pretty much the only friend I had left. Maybe I should just skip the final and take an incomplete. I'll make it up later. Or maybe I can help you with it. You'd help me study for my final? Of course I would. Why not? I mean, I know that this is hard for you. So if you need help not thinking about Nick, I'm here, you know? And we don't have to just study. We go shopping. We go to the movies. Wow. I mean... Considering how you feel about Nick, that's downright miraculous. Don't you think for one second you're the first person that's ever had a serious crush on an older guy? Because I've had plenty in my time. Really? Who was your first? First? Well, it was... I kind of had three simultaneously. Andy Gibb, Leif Garrett, and David Cassidy. Andy Gibb? Who? Who? <laughs> oh, honey, I have so much to teach you. <laughs> I <laughs> gotcha. Crushes on older guys. There's nothing like it. Because, well, it's very intense. Because they're unavailable, and that makes the fire burn a little brighter. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Okay. Yes, what you talking about? For the lack of a better word, crushes. <laughs> I remember my first crush. Oh, do you? Well, actually, I never got him. I just sort of gave him a hug. What can I say? <laughs> I said, ha ha, you're laughing, okay? <laughs> so you know what? You know what? You laugh at me, no treats for you. Oh, oh. come on. All right, you twist the guy's arm like that. What is what? that? <laughs> what is that? To me, what is that? This is an old McKinnon recipe. And if you're very lucky one day, young lady, I will pass down to you. That's okay, thanks, Jake. I guess I'll try again. No, no, you don't have to do that. I know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to make me feel better. And I love you for it. Well, we love you, too. That's right. And nothing's ever going to change that. You do know that, don't you? I know what. I'll get that. We'll go back to the drawing board for breakfast, and then we'll start studying. How's that sound? It's worth a try. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm not leaving until I see Abigail. As the World Turns is brought to you by Olay. You would love to have more beautiful skin. And something tells you that this holiday, you just might get your wish. The gift of Olay. Love the skin you're in. Why just use Febreze on the dog bed? Go, boy. After all, lots of everyday odors aren't as obvious. At least to you. Clean away odors all over with Febreze. Wow, nice. The more you use it, the more you love it. Febreze. John Jacob, go Oops. <laughs> Don't let a little loops become a big one. Clip new Tempo dry wipes to your visor. They're four-ply strong for all of life's little loopses. More convenient than paper towels and napkins, and stronger than tissues, especially when wet. Wherever you go, take Tempo. <coughs> cough waking you up in the middle of the night? No kidding. You got a cough medicine you take every four hours. Get a new all-night cough medicine. Introducing new NyQuil cough. <laughs> 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 
the new all-night coughing, 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 so you can sweep cough medicine from the makers of NyQuil. Here, kitty. <coughs> How those missing teeth feel. Okay. I never minded losing teeth. We made the noodles easy to slurp. Try it. Campbell's has that comforting combination of tender chicken, fresh egg noodles, and a rich golden broth. <laughs> Campbell's. Mm-mm, good. Radio Shack, your RC headquarters. For extreme RC action, spins and wheels, races and turns, fly like the wind, Take a wild ride off-road. Or the Ultra Orb from the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius movie. Blasting into theaters this Christmas. Extreme fun every kid wants. Battery sold separately at your RC headquarters. Radio Shack. <clears throat> Justice. All we're trying to do here is find out the truth. You can never have too many heroes. The smash hit Jag, CBS Tonight. Meet Lord of the Rings star Elijah Wood tomorrow on The Early Show. You listen to me. You get out of this building, you get out of town, and you get out of Abigail's life. Yeah, oh, what? Uh, you already got me fired. What's next? You gonna punch me out? You know what? I wouldn't want to get my hands dirty. Oh, yeah, that's right. All you have to do is call up one of your buddies down at Oakdale PD. You know, maybe they can plant some evidence on me, get me busted for some ridiculous charge and thrown back into jail. You know, who knows, Nick? Would that stop you? Where's Abigail? Abigail! Abigail! Nick? Nick? Who do you think you are coming into our house like this? You want to know who I am? I'm Abigail's friend. The only friend she has who will tell her the truth. Oh, a friend? A grown man, a grown man is friends with a freshman and cause you hear yourself? No, you know what, you can't You're trust so, her parents. Why don't you, you gotta have somebody to turn to? Pick on somebody your own please, side. Please don't fight, please. No, you, you, get, get out, Nick, it's enough, all right? Look, you know what, I'm not leaving until I talk this to Abigail. This is our home and you do not invade our home. You don't just barge in here like this. Yeah, of course not, of course not. You, you want to wait till we're out in the street, then you get sent in the cavalry, right, Molly? What is she talking about? She wants me to buy into the story she's been telling everybody in town. What story? That I'm some kind of pervert. Why, who? Who's she telling The you? cops. Or did she leave that part of the story out? That the two of them are sicking Lieutenant Munson on me. So instead of good morning, I'm going to get a lecture on my behavior? Well, if you're here to give Emily a second helping of what you gave her yesterday, then maybe a lecture is what you need, Tom. My son wandered off under her care. Negligence. An accident. It could have been a tragedy. Will you please take a breath and remember how much she loves that little boy? You know, I never doubted that. What I do question is Emily's ability to keep my son safe and secure and out of harm's way. Her son, too. I am reminded of it every time she drops him off late, every time I get excuses instead of action. Well, I see you've got your closing arguments all sewn up. How? If the shoe was on the other foot, if this were Carly and Parker, we would be scraping you off the ceilings right now. My son went missing, and it wouldn't have happened if Emily hadn't been preoccupied. She was so busy with her job, she forgot about him. Well, you answered my question. You're here to upset Emily, and I promise you, Tom, she's upset enough already. She's upset? Upset because she almost cost Daniel his life, or upset because she dropped the ball and got caught. Why don't you ask me to my face, Tom? Bonnie? Wow. You are a dead ringer for a so-called waitress that pretends to work here sometimes. You know, if you're half as funny as you think you are, you'd be half funny. I know, I know. What are you doing here, though? You're normally 30 minutes late for a shift, and here you are a good six hours earlier, and in a business suit. I'm here to face the music. This morning is my final meeting with the hospital benefit committee. Ah, that is today. I'm sure you will have the meeting out of your well-manicured hand. Although, yesterday, I thought you were ready to wave the white flag and surrender, and I can't... Stop it! I surrender, Isaac. The whole point of this benefit is to raise money, and right now, we have a week and no headliner scheduled. It's a waste of time. No one's going to show. What about the committee? You know what? Forget the committee. What about the people who are depending on this? We need a high-tech burn facility in this area. 
I feel guilty enough as it is. Thank you. Apparently not. Thank you. What do you want me to do, Isaac? I've tried everything. No, you haven't. Have you tried that smile of yours? Hmm? Turning up the charm, making the committee go nuts over your mom's idea? A homegrown talent show? You can sell it, Duchess. No, I can't. They'll despise it, and I'll be faced with humiliation beyond belief. So what else is new? Showtime, Duchess. Your private Here we company. are, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> We're very excited to hear your good ideas, Mike. Paul left because he needed to blow off steam. Once he calms down, he'll understand. I don't know. His crazy mother says he's been in some rough relationships. What if he thinks I'm just some other broad that lies? I mean, he's gonna stop loving me. Oh, come on, Rosa. Okay. Okay, what would it take for you to stop loving Paul? That's a cosmic impossibility. Can't happen. Because once I tell a guy I love him and then he, he says it back to me, that's it. For keeps. Did you hear what you just said? Paul loves you too. Yeah. So this is just temporary. Nothing is going to change his mind or his heart about you. So what am I supposed to do? Just tell him that this Vince guy is just a nuisance from your past. Tried that. Once I saw that picture of me and Vince together, it was like I sold him down the river, like I was playing him for a fool. And as bad as he felt, I felt like a gazillion times worse. He's a man. And he's in love. If you think that somebody else is involved with his girlfriend, who's involved? I'm not involved with anybody. No, Paul, I, he is my one and only. And this whole jealousy thing, it goes both ways. If I found out he was getting some love notes from his ex whoever, sprayed with eau de sin, believe me, I'd track her down, <laughs> find her. Show them both a lesson. That's what you have to do, you know. You have to find Vince and cut him off at the knees. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. Children love sing-along songs. Video presents Cedarmont Kids Sing Along Songs. Over 60 of your favorite sing along songs on three fun loving videos or DVDs. Kids love watching other kids. And now your child can join the Cedarmont Kids singing all their favorite songs. Videos that encourage your child to sing, dance, and play. Timeless classics the whole family will enjoy. Cedarmont Kids Sing Along Songs. Three fun-loving videos for only $24.99. Or three special edition DVDs for only $29.99. If you're not completely satisfied, Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. This is an exclusive TV offer, so call now for this priceless collection. Call 1-800-533-5100 to order sing-along songs. Or send $24.99 for 3 VHS or $29.99 for 3 DVD plus $5.50 shipping and handling to Sing Along Songs. Department 5, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Call now or order online at timelife.com. Neutrogena hand cream developed in Norway for Arctic fishermen to protect their hands. Five years of clinical tests prove it works better at rapidly healing dry skin and at retaining moisture longer. That's why it's trusted by dermatologists. Neutrogena hand cream, it works better. This holiday, there's only one place to unwrap the magic. J.C. Penney. This magic moment. This shimmering diamond pendant is surrounded by luscious chocolate. Now just $99. It's all inside. J.C. Penney. Find Vince? <laughs> no way. No. 
Besides, I have no idea we're hanging a sorry head these days, and in this case, ignorance is bliss, and I couldn't be happier. I thought you said he hung out in Atlantic City. Ah, I heard that he was, but no one's seen him for months, so... Well, there's one easy solution to the problem. Okay. Yeah. You tell Lucinda, talk to her, have her private investigators track him down. Won't work. Why? Just tell her that he's been bothering you, he's harassing you, and she'll probably give him a big round of applause, actually give him a helping hand. Why? Because your mother doesn't want me to have anything to do with anybody in the Stenbeck gene pool. She finds out somebody else is interested in me, she's gonna help him out. That's unbelievable. You're not gonna let her get away with that, are you? No. Nobody comes between me and Paul Ryan. We're a perfect fit. That doesn't happen every day. Hello? Ah, uh, yes. Hold on, please. It's for you. Oh. No, it's Vince O'Malley. Calling from the Lakeview. Is this a sick joke? He's on the phone. Talk to him. Tell him that you're happy to wish you well and to move on with his life. How do you get the number here? How do you track me down here? This is a little, a little sick for me right now. I don't know if I can deal with this. Would you please talk to him and tell him you've had enough? Or do you like the attention? Oh, tell me you missed the caveman. Give me the phone. This has been so mildly, please. Like a hole in the head. <clears throat> Vince? <clears throat> this is Rose. I want you to stop calling my friends and my family and stop sending me letters and messages through... Hello? Hello? Do you know, like, nothing about women? Less and less every day. Well, would it surprise you to learn that a whole heck of a lot of them end up with guys that are not head over heels for? Probably not. Well, take it from me. It's true. You settle. You learn to look past the guy's bad manners and try to find something to love, because as bad as he might be, it might be your last chance at anything that even looks like love. The lucky ones, the ones who find the mate that they created for them, well, those girls are few and far between. You made Rose one of the lucky ones, Paul. You can't take that away from her now. Then explain Vince O'Malley. I got a letter from him the other day. Sounds like a real gentleman, even sending me a picture of the two of them together. What picture? The same one Rose keeps at her place. He couldn't wait to tell me how happy he was to be back in her life, and how he wants to make it permanent. Doesn't sound too much like your everyday heel, does it? Shows what you know about Vince. What am I supposed to think, Mitzi? You know what I think? I think you're acting like a real brain donor. <sighs> I will never convince you that, that I'm the perfect parent. Don't fool yourself. There's no such animal. Oh, no, it exists in Tom's book. It terrifies me that my son was in danger. I hate it that he was afraid, that I didn't notice the moment he walked out of that diner. I have kicked myself over it every second since it has happened. You dropped the ball, Emily. Yes, I did, for a minute. And I know, a minute is all it takes. I shouldn't have let myself get distracted. I know that. I, But I love my son more than my life. And he loves me. And if you don't trust that, Tom, I then I'm sorry. I know how much Danny loves you. It's one of the reasons he had such a horrible night last night. What are you talking about? What happened? Well, he cried himself to sleep in my arms, and there was nothing I could do about it. I tried, Margot tried, even Adam tried to lend a hand. Why didn't you call me? I would have dropped everything and been over there in seconds. Because he doesn't need a quick fix. He needs a mother. He has a mother. Then he needs more than you're providing. He needs more than food and affection. He needs and deserves our undivided attention. Which he has when he is with me. You left him. Knock it off, Tom. You know, if I lived in a perfect world, I would be independently wealthy, and I would be able to watch over my son 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but I don't live in that world. For crying out loud, this has nothing to do How with you working or earning a living. I have to say I am sorry. I am sorry. I am ashamed, and I am horrified, and it was the worst few hours of my life. But there is nothing you can do to punish me. Do you understand that? Nothing you can say or do to me can make me feel any worse than what I already feel. I am not here to punish <sighs> you. know what? If I thought it would help, I would get on my knees and beg you for forgiveness. But it wouldn't make any difference. 
because you've been looking for ammunition to destroy me for years. Would you please give me a break? But now that you have it, you know what you're going to hold on to. You can decide how you could do the most damage. So you think I would do something to harm my own son? I don't know, Tom. I mean, you've done it before. You've, you've done it before. So why don't you say whatever it is you came here to say, huh? Tell me what a lousy mother I am. Tell me that you're going to take my son away from me. Just get it over with. Abigail, I can explain everything to you if you just give yeah, me a chance. Yeah, explain it to me, Molly, okay? Explain how it wasn't enough that you lied to Kim Hughes, got me fired with no chance of a recommendation, and no chance for decent employment. Abigail knows that's not true. Okay, okay, I, I think we've had enough. No, okay. Jake, wait. Well, just wait. Don't you see what they're doing? You see, they're still lying to you, Abigail. They're pretending that, that they're protecting you and doing the right thing. At the same time, they're destroying my life. Let me tell you something. You have no idea what destroying is. You come back, and I will have you arrested. Now, don't shut me out. Wait, Abigail, wait! Abigail! What did you do to Nick? I didn't do anything. You promised that you wouldn't go to the cops, Molly. I talked to Hal, Abigail, as a friend, not as a policeman. So you don't think the lieutenant would show his badge and make threats? I don't threat? know what he did to Nick. I just know whatever he said. Listen, if you want to blame somebody, blame me, okay? I, I'm, I'm the one that... that, that I that can't off. believe this. I trusted, I trusted both of you. I trust... Nick is not telling you the whole oh, story, no, Abigail. Not any of it. Forget it. I have heard enough. I've heard enough. <laughs> Nick is furious. And when he's like this, there's no telling what he'll do. And I just wish that Hal would throw him in jail. I wish you were dead. What did you just say? Because he likes me? Because he doesn't want you ruining his life? A man should be dead. I, I didn't mean that. Yeah. I see. Just another lie. Abigail? Abigail, wait. I mean, wait, wait. I know where she's going. She's going straight to Nick. You gotta help me stop her, Jake. It's a holiday tradition. It has been for years. With French's Taste Toppers, your green bean casserole has the crunchy onion taste everyone loves. So celebrate the holidays with family, friends, and French's Taste Toppers. Wanna make cookies? So we're baking up some holiday Pillsbury sugar and gingerbread cookies. Fun cookies you create and decorate. <laughs> Holiday, there's only one place that has the gifts you want and the prices you need. Where else? You are amazing. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? Your baby's growing quickly. So it's no wonder that by the time he's four months, his calcium needs increase more than 50%. That's why there's Carnation Follow-Up, the formula with the extra calcium active babies need. Extra calcium for amazing babies like yours. Plus, everyday savings. Carnation follow-up from Nestle. Also in soy. When you're a food critic, a cold could be a serious problem. So, I take Advil cold and sinus. It's got the strength of Advil I trust, plus a powerful decongestant. So I can get back to work. That's why they call it Advil cold and sinus. Wait! Winter dry out your lips. Give them Tapstick Lip Moisturizer. Ten moisturizers like aloe and vitamin E in a protective moisturizing formula. Tapstick. Wait. It's what dry chap lips are thirsting for. <laughs>
Wednesday on 60 Minutes 2, you don't have to wait until Christmas to unwrap this, America's most famous choir. Wednesday at 8, 7 Central. CBS Thursday. The lions are getting hungry. Oh. Good old Tom is getting frisky. <laughs> and what's in these ostrich eggs? That's going to save one of the survivors. Oh my God. Who will be voted out next? The interesting tribal council. All new survivors, CBS Thursday. At Jewel, it's the fresh way we fly. Cook. Arrange. The fresh way we pick. Prepare. Bake. The fresh way we make your life simpler, quicker, more elegant. The fresh way we do all we do. Fresh foods, fresh ideas. It's all here. All fresh to your family from June. Recently, party insiders tried to pressure Lieutenant Governor Kareem Wood to drop out of the race for governor. Kareem Wood's respectful answer to Governor Ryan, no. The voters, not party leaders, should be choosing our next governor. Kareem Wood cares about better schools and protecting your jobs. I'm Kareem Wood. I'm not in this campaign for the political insiders. I'm running to represent you. Join me. Make a difference on the issues you care about. And happy holidays. If you like today's hot new country, and it's a great day to be alive, you'll love US 99.5. Details about Drew's divorce from Tom and Terry Bradshaw, plus a new fat controversy for Martin Short's Jiminy Glick. Next DT tonight at 6:30 on CBS 2. From all of us at CBS. Happy holidays. Better calm down, you take a couple of breaths, and then we'll, we'll sit down and we'll talk. We were talking. That's just it, Jake. We were having an actual conversation Mom, before Nick walked in. It's just a matter in. of time before he crawls out of town. You think? Do you really think so, Jake? You saw the kind of hold he has on her. He snaps his fingers and our brilliant independent daughter jumps. She will come back home. She went to him, so he thinks he can win. What if I never see her again, Jake? Do I have to explain this to you again? I know. We're two very different people. What if I lose her? You're not gonna lose her, Molly. I spent so many years trying to squash any possible maternal instinct. Maybe that's why everything I'm doing now is coming out wrong. But it's not, it's not wrong. Look, when she was born, did you even did you even get to see her face? closing my eyes and thinking, hoping that the nurse would wheel her into my room so I could count all of her fingers and all of her toes. Memorize those beautiful eyes. <laughs> and when she started crying, I could say, it's okay, baby, mommy's here. <laughs> that never got to happen. Because... My partner in life was I am not here to talk about your motherly instincts or lack thereof. I think I made myself clear on that subject. Perfectly clear. I want to talk about what is best for Daniel. So do I. Well, it's nice to finally hear you say it. I have no problem discussing what's best for Daniel as long as what's best for Daniel includes his mother. I would never take a child away from his mother, especially a child I love as much as Daniel. Well, if you don't need me here, I have business that I need to take care of. You call me? Yeah. Tom, I know you'll keep this cool. Okay, forgive me, I'm a little confused. Um, I'm a danger to my son, yet you want me to be part of his life. Well, life is full of contradictions. You're not going to try to take Daniel away from me? Of course not. I'm looking out for Daniel's well-being and health. Well, at least we agree on the important things. We have to. Because it's time for you to make some adjustments in your life. 
Bunny, I cannot wait to hear what your ideas are for the benefit. Neither can I. Oh, well, come on now. Come on, don't be modest. Give me a little hint. Well, then, no hints, Lisa. Oh, please. <laughs> this is not fair. We want to know what you have in store for us. Oh, well, it's really not that dramatic, Lisa, really. <laughs> Did I tell you? She gets her modesty from her godmother. <laughs> Bunny, you might as well give up. Your godmother's not going to give in until you tell her what you have planned. <laughs> Especially since the invitations are in the mail already. There's no turning back. So with your great connections, you must have a terrific headliner for us. Who is it? Well, I know I promised you the unexpected. And the unexpected is what you're going to get. Well, nonstop music and entertainment, of course. But uh, this time, it'll be unique. Unique because it will be an outpouring of love and support for the people of Oakdale by the people of Oakdale. <laughs> and uh, I'm talking about something you're not going to find anywhere else but here, people. I'm talking about a talent show. Right, Isaac? It's going to be incredible. Yes, it's, we've been brainstorming for days, and you would be surprised at the number of people that we found out had homegrown talent right here in Oakdale. Yes, and Isaac... He is just mad about the idea, really. Why don't you just tell them about some of the other things we've been brainstorming about? Well, we should definitely start auditions immediately. Yes, yes. And auditions will be held here at Java Underground, of course. So when you start putting up those flyers, you make sure you mention that all are welcome with absolutely no experience necessary. Now, is that a million-dollar idea or what? Wait, wait, please, please. Don't run away from me. <laughs> Don't get that, Frank. Hello? Only Niamic Seafood Middles has the seafood flavors cats crave with a crunch they can't resist. It tastes so good. Cats ask for it. By name. Niamic's brand cat food in original and crunchy seafood middles. Do you want your parties to be really special? Try Rocher, the European speciality your guests will adore. Smooth chocolate, crunchy hazelnut, a luxurious taste sensation. It's more of a party with Rocher. brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. This elegant watch, yours with any 4850 White Diamonds fragrance purchase. What if your baby's skin was drier here? Would he smile more here? What if his diaper let air flow through here and locked away wetness there? Would he laugh more here? He might if his diaper is Huggies. They keep baby's skin drier than any other diaper. And that's important for healthy skin. So he may have a little more fun in everything he does. Huggies, because drier skin means happier babies. Didn't you say you were getting a cold? Yes, but I used Zycam right away and got rid of it right away. Didn't you say you were getting a cold? I knocked it out with Zycam before the cold could knock me down. Zycam is unique. Its patented formula has been shown to get rid of colds three times faster when taken at the first sign of symptoms. Colds? They're tough to avoid, but now I get rid of them three times faster. Getting a cold? Get Zycam and get rid of the cold three times faster. How does missing teeth feel? Okay. I never minded losing teeth. You made the noodles easier to slurp. Try it. Campbell's has that comforting combination of tender chicken, fresh egg noodles, and a rich golden broth. <laughs> Campbell's, mm-mm, good. This holiday, there's only one place to unwrap the magic. J.C. Penney. This magic moment. This three-piece pearl jewelry set with a delightful music box. Now just $99. It's all inside. J.C. Penney. CBS Thursday. One night, two cases, three bodies. How are you at solving puzzles? See why piecing together the evidence is murder. All new CSI. And is the head of the CIA giving away secrets 
Now the truth comes out. The president has lost confidence in him. All new agency, CBS Thursday. Join Destiny's Child and host Mariah Carey for an all-star tribute to some very special families. A home for the holidays, CBS Friday. I for one just think it's a brilliant idea. Darling, you're so smart. A talent show. And we've been saying that we need very much for the people of Oakdale to feel that they have a stake in this, a personal stake. Well, what better way to stoke them up than this, huh? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we have a resounding yes from the beautiful Lisa here. <laughs> Dr. Bob? Kim? I withhold my vote at the moment. May I ask why? Well, to be perfectly honest, it's been years since Bob has sung to me, and I'm not sure he can stay on key anymore, so I defer to him. <sighs> Dr. Hughes, the final vote rests with you. Four-star food, entertainment, a night filled with people of all ages, homegrown talent. Any committee can get together a few thousand dollars to hire someone to come in town, make a splash, and then leave with their collected check. But the moment we start giving of ourselves, for ourselves, well, that's when we really start to make a difference in people's lives. Dr. Hughes, you were saying? Kim, get my music out of the car. <laughs> my wife and I vote yes. <laughs> I knew you were a genius. <laughs> oh, you're the genius, Johnny. You see what happens when you put your mind to work? We're going to bring out the best of Oakdale. Right. Oh, I'll have a serenade from my husband again after all these years. <laughs> I'm gonna sing the lights out. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> I told you my goddaughter is so brilliant. <laughs> okay, Bonnie, we'll be seeing you. Thank you. You did a good job. Like Keep the good ideas coming. Bye-bye. Okay. See you soon. Bye. 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 <sighs> it's no need to thank me. You're more than welcome. For what? I pulled it out of the fire. My save, my win. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, listen. We have a lot to do. We have our work cut out for us. We? we, we what is this we? We who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my buddy. Oh, pal. We're in it for the long haul. You and me. It's going to be so much fun. Pal. Oh, God, please tell me not to have it, Abigail. As far as I know, she's all right. Now, when it... Did something else happen with Scudder? Yeah, he changed his strategy. He showed up here at the apartment and he was on a rampage. And uh, we think she's with him. Well, now, I told him that there wouldn't be any more trouble if he left town. I guess he needs somebody to remind him. No, Hal, I don't think that's a good idea because whatever you do now, he's going to take it out on Abigail. He's going to punish her for it and it'll just make everything worse. How did you find me? Oh, I, I followed you. Look, maybe it's just best if you leave. No, you don't mean that. Look, Abigail, I followed you because I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. I made an idiot out of myself, and I shouldn't have gone there. Why did you? Uh, I was up all night thinking about how once I leave town, everybody is going to fill your head with lies about me, and I, I just wanted to see you again. If, if I'd known that Molly and Jake were there, I, I would have stayed away. If I knew that I was going to lose it like I did, I would have stayed miles away, believe me. What was it that pushed you over the edge? Well, I, I guess it was all the threats from Lieutenant Munson. You know, I've been keeping a lot of that to myself, the way that your family and friends have been treating me, and I did that because I didn't want them to come between us. But once he promised to send me back to prison, I, I was like this dam that just Wait, broke... Lieutenant Munson threatened to... Send you back to jail? No, it was more like a promise that he meant to keep. Unless I stayed away from you, but I couldn't do that, Abigail. I had to see you again. I had to try one more time. Try what? This. Please, don't say no again. You're angry at Vince, but he's nowhere to be seen, so you're taking it out on Rose. You don't want to do that. Of course not. I, I love her. You know, Rose and I spent a couple of hundred nights on the boardwalk fantasizing about meeting the guy. 
The guy that makes your knees buckle from the first time you meet him until you're dancing together at your 50th wedding anniversary. We toss our spare change into the wishing well at the casino, knowing our odds were better for getting struck by lightning than meeting Mr. Wright. Rose, finding you gives girls like me a reason to keep dreaming. You know, Mitch, you're, you're a great woman and a wonderful friend of Rose, but Look, you know, it's the really point, not your... The point is... If Vince O'Malley and every other Steve, Tony, and Vito that ever bought her a drink or a spot of the bet for her or bought her dinner, they were nothing. Okay? Just something to pass the time until the real one came along. Mm. That's you. The real thing, Paul. So, if you had a brain in your head of yours, you'd know that already. So know it now. Rose has been waiting for you all her life. there. Well, do you think Vince is the type of guy to fly halfway across the country, track you down at someone else's house, and not call you back, Rose? Call back. Hmm. He will. Not calling back. You have to call him. He's at the Lakeview. 555-8697. And then what? Well, as you know, I do a darn good impression of Rose D'Angelo. Can't even afford to tip the guy in the men's room for crying out loud. How's he afford a room at the Lakeview? Wait, it's been west of New Jersey, except for that one time. Was... Yeah, uh, hello. This is uh, Rose D'Angelo. I'm uh, Lily Snyder's sister. Yes, your boss. Yes, I was wondering if you could give me the room of uh, Vince O'Malley, what number of room he's staying in? 221. Would you mind connecting me, please? <laughs> Terrific. Really? Very interesting. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. What happened? He has a hold on all his calls and his visitors. That's it. You have to call the cops. A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Why do I eat? New Healthy Choice Creamy Tomato Soup. Why? Because it has delicious, rich, sun-wiping tomatoes. Why else do I eat Healthy Choice Soup? That's why. Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Body Moisturizer. Clinically proven under the harshest conditions. It does more than moisturize dry, rough skin. It actually heals it. That's why dermatologists recommend Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Body Moisturizer. It works. More on that top story at 11. And in local news, while cleaning up an abandoned lot on the corner of 3rd and Washington, a group of high school students stumbled upon a major archaeological find. It appears the kids from Killian High discovered the remains of a family of woolly mammoths. The surprised students said it looks like they're not sure how to get a better meaning now. Archaeologists hope the well-preserved bones will shed new light on the station. This holiday, the Kmart Blue Lights are heading out to bring you low prices all over the store. Like this 18-quart roaster oven with a free electric knife. Or this Philips 3CD shelf system. Just one of a great selection of holiday electronic ideas. You'll even find low prices on fine jewelry, like this gold earring set for just $12.99. So it's easy to see that this holiday season at Kmart, low prices are our gift to you. Would you let a guy get this close to your legs if you shaved with an electric razor? You bet. If you use the Remington Smooth and Silky, you get all the closeness you want without the cuts. Remington, it shaves real close, so he can get close, real close. <laughs> he gets all the attention, but we know how it'll end. Streak, spots, wipe, wipe, wipe. 
Stop ignoring me. Give me some Jet Dry. One little bottle a month. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant. Jet Dry. Once a month for sparkling dishes. CBS Tonight. It's Nick Fallon's most personal custody battle. You're going to place my grandson with a man who killed his mother. All new Guardian. Then, the crime disturbing the peace. The punishment. You'll be forced to listen to someone else's music. I enjoy being a girl. All new Judging Amy after The Guardian. CBS Tonight. Dangerous. What if he is? What if he found out that you become the vice president of Worldwide? That Worldwide, that's where he sends you the flowers, isn't it? So he thinks I'm making the big bucks and he wants in? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta set him straight. Nobody, nobody gets a piece of Rose D'Angelo. Where are you going? I'm going over to the Lakeview, room 221, and tell some IQ deficient pinhead exactly that information. Rose. Careful. Oh, no. He is the one that should be careful. I'm just taking care of business. Exactly what adjustments are you referring to? I know how much you love Daniel. And it makes you a good mother on so many levels. Thank you. When you're focused and rested, you have Daniel's best interest at heart. But if you want to be any good to your son, you need to grow up. If you want to live here, fine. Hire child care, someone I've met, someone who's trustworthy and responsible. Everything I'm not, right? You want sitter approval? Among other things. Bottom line, reassess your priorities if you want to continue seeing Daniel on even a part-time basis. I already see my son on a part-time basis. What are you getting at, Tom? Margot and I decided that until you can get your life settled down, your exposure to Daniel should be limited to a few hours per visit. Those visits should be supervised by me. All right, I've got both eyes on Scudder. What if he hurts her? Hey, he's a dirtbag, but he's not stupid. He got my message. Thank you, Hal. I know you've gone above and beyond. This is my little girl. Hey, you don't need to say another word. I'm going to go see what's up with Scudder. I'll be in touch. Thank you, Hal. Thanks. Any you better? You're right. Mm -hmm. Abigail has everything that I never had. She's a big patchwork family, all the love in the world, and a really good head on her shoulders. And now it's time I put mine on. Oh, we're putting our reporter's hat on again, huh? That's right. Mommy hat only makes me feel really helpless these days, so I think I need to take an objective point of view at least for a couple hours. Any, any news flashes up there? Nick's worked awfully hard to worm his way into Abigail's life, Jake. But why? That is the million-dollar question. Does he just want my daughter, or is there something else he wants? That's your ring, not mine. Yeah, but I told you why I want you to keep it. So you'll have something to remember me by. Where do you think you're gonna go? Well, as far away from Oakdale as possible. But I know that no matter how far I go, I'll always have a part of you with me. That's why it's so important for you to keep my ring, to, to keep me in your thoughts. Will you do that for me? I'm gonna lose it. Well, uh, how about your chain? Maybe you can, you can wear it around your neck. and the cops, I mean, I don't stand a chance in this town. I mean, there's nothing 
here for me anymore. Except you. And some really great memories. Take care of yourself, Abigail. I, I will never forget you. Wait, Nick. How can I just let you walk out like this? I mean, there has to be some other way. Anything. 